practicing offended types and petty protectionist, I declare all guns in this video have been safety checked. So let's rock. Woo, forgive that opening. I don't know, it came over me. Greetings folks, Two Improper here bringing you simplicity. That's right, sticky holsters. Sticky holsters are the holsters that tell you folks, sometimes less is more. This is not going to be the holster you find on your SWAT team wannabe, your tactical guy in his backyard shooting watermelons. This is a sticky holster, a holster designed for ordinary Joes like myself to quickly or comfortably carry a pistol in an uncomplicated and very easy to manage fashion. And as you can see, when I talk about less is more, I'm also talking about simplicity, as I had previously pointed out, because that's all these are. These are just simple. You see what it is? It's just a nice, comfortable, rubbery material. It's cushy, so it's got some filling in there. It's got a somewhat slick interior. It allows for a quick and easy drawing and reholstering of the weapon. And this here is the holster that I carry my Glock 19 in. And I carry this every day. This is the one that I take to work. I use this holster because it's really simple and I can transfer it from my waistband to the locked area of my car uh, without very much muss and fuss. And that is what's the good thing about these sticky holsters is that you've got ease of movement. You've got mobility with these and that you can easily take them out of your waistband and store them wherever you want to if you're going to make a quick jaunt somewhere. These things are perfect and they are totally comfortable. I have this sticky holster for my Glock 19, but it's also a good size for my M&P 9. It fits in there really well and it's very, very comfortable, folks. I can't reiterate that enough how comfortable, how surprisingly comfortable these holsters are. This sticky holster I have for my Ruger LCR and I carry this oftentimes in my front pocket. This is a pocket pistol for me. It's very comfortable. I wear loose enough pants and I'll demonstrate this here in a little bit but that's the one for my um, LCR. It fits perfectly and I just love the way sticky holster did these. This one here is for my 1911. Admittedly, I don't carry my 1911 around in my waistband, but in case I do, I have a sticky holster for it too. Now, a sticky holster has a size chart that'll help you decide which holster size is gonna be best for the firearm that you wanna outfit with it, and here it is. In the package with your sticky holster will come a size chart that'll tell you which size sticky holster and which size model sticky holster will fit whichever pistol that you were looking for. But sticky holster has been a very good thing and I'll demonstrate here in a second uh, how this fits in the waistband and what it looks like. Okay, right now I've got my Ruger LCR in my waistband with the Ruger LCR or small revolver sticky holster and here it is. And as you can see, this holster pulls this right up close to you so with a small gun like this you are virtually invisible and very very little printing with your revolver but i mainly use the revolver one to put in my pocket and which is how it's designed that you can put your pistol in here and then if you need to draw you can pull it out and be ready to go to work now you have to do some practicing with it if you're going to use it primarily like this, but for the most part, you should be able to reach your hand in, draw, and go to work. All right, now here is the uh, the mid-sized or large handgun size uh, sticky holster right here. And as you can see, the draw is easy, but retention, somebody's not going to be able to walk over and just pull your gun out of there. So retention is very good. But... Um, especially against your bare skin, which is how most people are gonna use this, really. Against your bare skin, this really holds in very, very well, and it is very, very comfortable. You can feel your gun against your bare skin, so get ready for that. But for the most part, 
this is a very comfortable, very cushy, and it's not too thick a profile to have in your waistband. So it is very comfortable, and it's especially good for short trips and short work. So right there, and it holds it up very close to you. Okay, now I have the 1911 sticky holster in here, and as you can see, yes, the 1911 is a big gun. I mean, it is 39 ounces, but it is still comfortable. Still, at 39 ounces, a 1911 is very heavy, but the draw is still quick. You know, you have to make sure you've cleared the sight here, but the draw is still quick, and it is somewhat comfortable, although I couldn't imagine going on all day with the 1911. Now, if you're going to have a 1911 in your waistband all day long, you're either a huge dude or you have some sort of Freudian preoccupation with size. So, to each his own, I say. So, there you have it, folks. If you haven't guessed by now by watching the two improper videos, which I know you've watched every single video, I am all about inexpensive, practical, and not necessarily tactical. Because... I bring products for the average Joe and Josephine like myself. I bring products that interest me. Most people aren't walking around with chest rigs and thigh rigs and have camouflage face paint on all day long. They're just average working, hardworking people that prioritize their money to the things that they need, yet still want the things that can help them when they need it. Like this. Practical holsters. Soft, comfortable, inexpensive, and you can purpose them whichever way you see fit. One other thing, though, I would say that these holsters may not be good if you are wearing exercise equipment. I cannot imagine, for example, wearing a 1911 in your waistband if you have exercise equipment on or something like that. Or if you're running or jogging, jumping rope, bouncing around, uh, I would call these more practical for people who are just regularly mobile and not necessarily exercising. Because there are no clips or anything like that. That's not what these holsters are for. There's different devices for that. But anyway, folks, I hope you like this. I'm Too Improper. Thank you for watching. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen right now. That's tooimproper at gmail.com. Right, and I will answer you, provided you are polite about what you have to say. And if I have the time.